A new income ETF has received all the buzz in recent weeks. Let's see if the juicy 40% dividend yield is legit or if they are indeed Mickey Mouse dividends. Now rather than selling covered calls on an index, TSLY, which I will now be referring to as TSLY for the rest of the video, holds a whole one position, Tesla. Now the actual company Tesla doesn't pay a dividend, instead it chooses to reinvest back into the business to grow it as well as to grow Elon Musk's wealth. But with T-Sly, you have a chance at getting exposure to Tesla and also getting paid some fat monthly juicy dividends. Powered by Yieldmax, T-Sly is an actively managed fund that seeks to generate monthly income by selling and writing call options on Tesla. Yup, we've reached that part of the simulation where ETFs now have just one stock in them. But these aren't just regular covered calls, but instead they're synthetic covered calls. In a synthetic covered call strategy, the investor, aka the fund, does not own the underlying security, but rather they seek to synthetically replicate 100% of the price movements of the underlying security through the use of various investment instruments. Now the way they do this is they are selling an equal number of puts and it also buys calls to mimic owning shares. They then sell covered calls against a majority of that synthetic position, and they collect some juicy premiums and also have a chance at experiencing some capital appreciation. This is a little bit different than other popular income ETFs like JEPI or QYLD, which are writing calls against an index but also own the underlying equities. With synthetic covered calls, there's three main benefits. For T-Slide, they're hoping to track some of the returns of Tesla stock. Now, this can go both up or down, and they're also getting some covered call writing in. And they're also holding on to US Treasuries as collateral, but Treasuries also generate some income just for holding on to them. Their prospectus goes into much more detail on how they do this strategy. Essentially, the fund will buy Tesla call options and simultaneously sell Tesla put options to try and replicate the price movements of Tesla. They will also then do covered calls on Tesla to generate income via premiums, but since they don't actually own Tesla shares, these call options are always sold short, which means they're selling a position they don't actually own. Now, unlike other funds that buy exactly one month at the money, T-Sly generally does one month in advanced or less, and the strike price is about 5-15% to higher than what Tesla's current share price is today. So it's possible to experience some gains with this product if Tesla does well, but as with doing any sort of covered call strategy, a really good stretch for Tesla would be capped in gains with covered calls since you're agreeing to sell the shares if a certain share price is reached by a certain date. The fund is also holding on to the safest asset ever in US Treasuries, so they hold on to these as collateral to do their synthetic covered call strategy. The reason they do this is that in order to sell the put option, the investor must have collateral in the form of cash or securities that can be used to purchase the underlying stock at the strike price if the option is ever exercised. This basically ensures the investor can fulfill their obligation to purchase the stock if the put option is exercised. Now without this collateral, the investor would be exposed to the unlimited downside risk if the stock price were to fall significantly below the strike price. It's also important to note that income from US Treasuries will be heavily influenced by interest rates. Yup, Uncle Jerome and his buddies, they influence every part of your life. Now the reason Tesla premiums are so juicy, and premiums are the payment the fund gets for agreeing to forego any upside potential, is because they currently have a beta of 2.01. A beta of 2 means that the stock is twice as volatile as the overall market. More specifically, a beta of 2 indicates if the market goes up or down by 1%, the stock is expected to go up or down by 2%. Now a higher beta, that might indicate more risk, but it also has the potential for bigger gains. It should be noted that although the fund tries to replicate Tesla's share price activity, it does not track it fully. As we can see year to date so far, T-Sly is about even, right around 0%, while Tesla is up 57%. This makes sense because T-Sly is giving up upside potential in order to generate those premiums. So even if Tesla does really well in a short period of time, which it often does, T-Sly will lag. 
T-Sly also charges a hefty 99 basis points expense ratio. That's $99 for every $10,000 invested annually. That's significantly more than Global X products at around 60 basis points, or even Jeppy at 35 basis points expense ratio. Now this is an actively managed fund, they're doing quite the complicated strategy, it's reasonable they would charge a higher fee, but just know that high expense ratios, they really do eat away at returns over a long period of time. Now if we look at T-Sly's assets under management, we can see it's rapidly growing. They were at less than a million dollars at the start of the year, and now they've worked their way up all the way to 69 nice million dollars today. I expect with the more free publicity they are getting, that number will continue to rise. Yieldmax also plans on launching similar funds for other popular stocks including Amazon, Apple, Berkshire, Coinbase, Facebook, Nvidia, Netflix, among others. Now let's talk about the reason you're so interested in T-Sly, and that's for those juicy dividends, which according to their website, is 40%, but that number might not be totally accurate. For one, T-Sly only launched at the end of November 2022, so it hasn't even been around for a whole one year yet. So far it has paid out dividends every month of 2023, so what I did was I added up all the dividends and then I took the average, annualized it, and then I divided by the current share price of $13.41, and we get a mind-boggling dividend yield of 72.89%. Now while that might sound great, I wouldn't get my hopes up. Yieldmax's own website says their dividends are variable, they're not fixed, meaning there's never any guarantee what the next dividend payment might be, or if there might be one in general. The fund is not obligated to pay dividends. In fact, T-Sly's dividends have actually decreased every single month the fund has been out so far. It dramatically fell from 82 cents to 44 cents this past month. Now, if you are in retirement, could you really swallow such large fluctuations and dividend payments that you're hoping to live off of? Another reason the yield is so high with T-Sly is that their NAV has eroded about 35% since it launched. I'm sensing there is indeed some Mickey Mouse dividends here. Due to its covered call nature, I imagine T-Sly distributions will likely be taxed as ordinary income, which means they probably won't get any special tax breaks like with qualified dividends. That means even more of your returns possibly being taken away by Uncle Sam. This fund seems to be ideal for investors who are bullish on Tesla, but also want to get in on some of that income during sideways or bear markets. That's when this fund will really shine. Just know that investing so much into one company, that comes with a lot of risks. Also, this fund is relatively new, so we've only seen a small window of how the strategy will play out. Let me know in the comments below what you think of t Sly's strategy, or if you're going to buy any shares. Or even better yet, chat with fellow investors in the Discord below for more great conversations. Make sure you leave a like, it really helps out a small time channel like mine. My videos are always found in podcast form under the Collect Cash podcast name. I want to thank all my Patreon supporters who keep this channel running, and I will buy, stash, and collect cash you later.